Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, nightly wrap-up show, the Election Eve edition. So hopefully everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody is uh, trading well, living well, happy, healthy. And that's the most important part. Uh, again, if you are just so kind, if you can do me the honor, just simply click a like, uh, share the video, subscribe. Again, it'll help out the channel and I will do my darnest to try to help you guys out. Uh, on the day-to-day -day, uh, basis. So I, I, I want to say something, right? I, I want to say something. And the more I think about it, I, I think it's so sad. I really do. I think it's so sad. Um, I don't care who you're voting for, right? Everybody has a right to vote for whoever you want, okay? And I'm not about to have a whole conversation about it after tonight. But guys, at the end of the day, Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, Whatever your, you know, whatever your stance is, we're all Americans, okay? We're all Americans. Uh, we're on the same team. I, I think a lot of people have lost that fact somewhere, okay? Um, you can't judge another person about how they vote. Everybody is in different parts of their lives, different phases. Everybody wants uh, different things. Uh, the 50-year-old Shapiro wants a lot different things than 20-year-old Shapiro. So I think before you start going online or you know fighting with somebody at the voting poll, just understand, we all want kind of the basic things, right? We want to be happy. We want to be healthy. We want to make sure our children are provided. But we also want to have, you know, we also want to have the ability to be a self-sustained unit that we're not relying on anybody. Okay. And I've been kind of reiterating that point. Uh, after tonight, whether we have a definitive winner or not, okay. Um, and I, I don't think we will, but whatever, we'll see. Okay. Your life, I promise you, your life is not going to magically change tomorrow. I, I, I'm just telling you, as the day is long, your life is not going to change tomorrow. So just remember, Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, we're all Americans. Respect the other person. That's it. Move on with your day. It doesn't make a difference what happens later. You're in control of your life and make sure just treat your fellow American, right? With some respect and dignity. That's it. Other than that, um, going into today's session, I really didn't expect a lot. Uh, like I said last night in the video, I go, wow, you know, just the way the market is kind of just a stalemate. And a holding pattern, I don't think anything's going to happen. I would be very, very shocked. I was pretty shocked today. Um, you know, not only did the market run up, right? Not only did the market run up, you look at the scoreboard, Dow up 1%, uh, up 400 points, S&P up 70 points, NASDAQ up 1.4%. Uh, uh, we had a really, really strong session today. Uh, technology woke up super aggressively. Uh, if you guys remember, we were talking about for a couple of days of names like Amazon needs to take out the previous days, at least one high to go higher. Uh, Tesla, right? We've been talking about Tesla for nonstop. What we need to do is just take out one days of range. Really good moves today. Really, really strong session. I was super uh, encouraged. I was super pleased uh, but I was shocked that this was actually going hot, you know, going on. And today, uh, I actually sat there literally to the bell. Okay. I'm usually done by two, two 30, go to the gym, clear my head. I was here to the bell, right? I was literally here, cleared to the bell. Um, phenomenal action. Uh, now that we are, uh, in a state that we're about what, three hours away from the least the East coast to closing, uh, their polls, you know, we're going to start getting some, you know, some feedback from uh, different parts of the country. Uh, and this should be, a, you know, it should be a really, really um, fun 24 hours as far as uh, volatility goes. I wouldn't be surprised that you see huge move up in the futures and anticipation of Trump moving 
a huge move down in the futures, anticipation of Harris moving. Uh, but the name of the game, the common denominator is, like we say, we don't trade the market. We trade uh, individual setups. And, you know, by the looks of things going into tomorrow, okay, if we just have an orderly session going into tomorrow's session, there's some massive value, absolutely massive value. But again, we don't know if that's going to happen. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see uh, exactly uh, how the election plays out. Uh, just by seeing some initial feedback, that, you know, some polls have Trump really, really ahead. Some polls don't. So we'll see. You know, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, but it's going to be very, very uh, interesting going into tomorrow. But the most important part is what these individual stocks, especially in the mega cap space, did today or potentially going to do if the market continues to, to rally, right? If the market continues this pre-election run-up and confirms today's price action tomorrow. Guys, look at some of these setups. First of all, let's talk, let's talk about the pivots today. And again, guys, for all you guys who are interested in pivots, again, all you need to do is click the link below, um, you know, come in for 30 days. Uh, again, all, of, all the things you hear me talk about, option flow, this, that, and the third, but a pivot's a very, very cool. Uh, it's a very, very designated area. Uh, we have an arbitrage here. We try to uh, take advantage of it. If it's something that is interesting to you uh, and you are contemplating it, uh, you know, all you need to do is try it out for 30 days. Uh, I think you will be uh, very, very pleasantly uh, surprised. So let's talk about it, right? Tesla, we've been talking about, uh, we've been talking about Tesla for a couple of days. It just needed to take out one day, right? Just one day worth of of selling and I thought the stock would wake up. Uh, Tesla woke up great, uh, absolutely great today. Uh, 249 uh, was the pivot, right? 249 was the pivot. It broke this whole downtrend, reclaimed the five, the 10 day moving average, uh, took out the 49, traded all the way up to the 255s. My highest sale was uh, in the 244s. A yeah, beautiful, beautiful move. The only reason, again, like I, I even tweeted this out, the only reason I, I would not take this overnight is, that, you know, I don't want any type of volatility on election. You know, I, this is my first time trading the election. I know how aggressive things can be. Yeah, can Tesla wait, you know, wake up tomorrow and you see the stock 265, 270? Sure. You could also wake up, you know, tomorrow where there's no clarity in who won the election and you have the stock down 10. It's very, very simplistic. So if you haven't traded uh, into an election, just understand, I, I understand people are charged. I know it's a slam dunk. Trump's going to win. Yeah, we'll see, right? We'll see. But again, there's no guarantee your stock is going to uh, to have more appreciation, especially uh, after this really, really uh, big run-up. Same thing happened with uh, Amazon, right? Amazon was exactly the same thing. Uh, Amazon, I forgot to put the pivot on the feed, but you know, for all you guys in the webinar, uh, you guys caught it. Uh, you know, again, all it needed to do is take out one day's worth of uh, buying. It took out this 197.33 level, traded up to almost 200. Again, there's going to be a Another massive fight on that 200 level. I think Bezos sold another $200 million worth of stock today on top of the, like the 16 gazillion dollars he sold uh, last week. But again, we're still watching these all-time highs uh, above the the, the, G, uh, the July channel. That looks really, really good. Reddit did exactly the same thing. And again, did exactly the same thing, right? Reddit had a big, big move. Came in down. All it needed to do is take out one channel, right? One channel to got above the 113 level. Just went absolutely out of its mind. Paddock buying here. All it needs to do now is confirm the earnings highs for the next uh, leg up. And here's kind of the segue, right? Here's kind of the segue. Look at Google, right? Look at Google, guys, right? Look at Google. Same thing, right? See the same thing? All Google needs to do, and this is definitely one of my top watches tomorrow, assuming they don't kill the market. Uh, this is definitely one of my top watches tomorrow. If Google can do the same thing as Tesla, Amazon, Reddit, and just take out one day's worth of selling and can and reclaim back the five-day moving average, Google could wake up. We saw so a bunch of 75 uh, and 80 weeklies come in. So very, very good setup uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. So Tesla was good. Uh, NVIDIA was good. 139 needs to build. NVIDIA went traded up, up to 140, uh, 140.40s. This was definitely one of the best uh, best bounces I've seen in a non-beta name in a very long time. You guys hear me say all the time, when you guys have been watching the videos, you know, uh, anytime a stock is strong, if it opens into profit taking or, uh, you know, you want to kind of get uh, the the rising, you ever hear me say the rising 60 minute support? Well, here is PLTR and a great earnings quarter gapped up today. 
Uh, 47.20s is the potential remount bounce uh, on the initial pullback. It held it, it held that 47.20s uh, stock traded all the way up to 51s. One of the greatest, greatest bounces for a non-beta name uh, I saw in a long time. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught that as well. Uh, GSAT didn't quite get back again. Same kind of play as uh, PLTR. I uh, didn't quite get down to 162, trade down to 166, and then one green on the day. I uh, had a big move up, but really, really nice uh, price action uh, as well. So it's today between Tesla, Nvidia, PLTR, really strong session. Again, I was very, very pleased. Uh, I think everybody in the webinar was very, very pleased. We were shocked that this was happening. Uh, but now the question is, what happens on election night, right? What happens on the election night? How do we, uh, how do we adjust? to a potential curveball. Again, a lot of people are baking in a Trump victory. This is why the market rallied today. But again, there's no such things as uh, a sure thing. Death taxes uh, and the Jets being shitty. It's only three guarantees uh, that you have in life. So we'll see how the market reacts to, uh, tomorrow. Uh, after the close, uh, SMCI, again, um, just the septic tank. That's all it is. Uh, you know, missed on revenues Missed on earnings. Stock is down about 12% uh, after the close. And this is being, you know, after being down, what, 45% in a week. So a lot of carnage uh, is still there as well. Uh, also after the close, let me just look at my notes here. Also after the close, you have microchip. Okay, you have microchip, another uh, semiconductor down about 3%. Uh, EXAS, big, big miss, big, big miss down about 22%. Uh, percent. Uh, the highlight to the upside is this RV uh, LV. I have no idea what this thing is, but it's up about uh, 10%. So the fine line for tomorrow, going into tomorrow's session, is I would love to see a continuation rally because if we do have a continuation rally, uh, you know, I'm focusing on the big ones. You know, Amazon, uh, obviously, NVIDIA, obviously, Tesla, uh, Tesla Meta has a good channel. Look at Meta's channel, right? Look at Meta. You know, again, granted, they didn't have a great uh, response to earnings, but look how close Meta is to reclaiming back the 10 day moving average. This looks uh, really, really good as well. So we're set up for tomorrow, right? We're, we're definitely set up for tomorrow. Um, let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens tonight. I, I would be very surprised uh, that we have a little, any type of closure. Uh, going into tomorrow's session, I, I have a feeling this is going to be the most litigated election ever. Everybody's pointing fingers. Something's wrong. This is bad. But guys, again, at the end of the day, just remember, we're all on the same team. We're Americans, right? And that's the bottom line. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless you all. God bless us all. And with God's help, I'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care, guys.